So today's class is going to be a slow, gentle yoga practice, but with holding poses for a little longer than normal. Slow is strong. It doesn't mean it's necessarily easy. So have a yoga strap nearby because you will need it or a dressing gown belt or anything that you can use uh, to help you get deeper into the poses. Enjoy. Perfect. So we're actually going to start sitting down today and work on some breath work. So <clears throat> let me just, I sit on two blocks to start off with and then I, I could easily fall off. So if you grab your block and you're going to kind of perch on it, ideally the, the, the flatter blocks are better for this, but if you put your bottom on it and where you feel your tailbone, have that so you're a bit more towards the front of the block, because that should, in theory, help you to sit up straighter. Whereas if you sit fully on the block it might be a bit slouchy so more towards the front edge <clears throat> to try and get yourself up as straight as you can go and then just bring your legs into whichever is a comfortable pose for you have your hands just resting on your knees inhale shoulders up back and down draw banda up and in lengthen in the spine tuck the chin a little lengthen the back of the neck and then just close your eyes for a moment. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Deep breath in through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Relax your shoulders. On your next inhale, we're going to hold the breath. So inhale for one, two, three four, hold, two, three, four, and exhale, relax those shoulders, in, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, exhale, three, four, in, two, three, four, Hold, two, three, four, and exhale, three, four. On your next inhale, we're going to hold it for longer. So inhale, fill your lungs, fill your belly, and then hold for five, for four, for three, for two, for one, and exhale, fully release the breath. Inhale. Holding for six, five, four, three, two, one, and exhale. Relax those shoulders. Really deep inhale. Holding for seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and release. Inhale deeply. Holding for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and release those shoulders. Inhale. Holding for nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one and exhale. Last time, deep breath in. Holding for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and release. Opening your eyes, keeping your left hand on your knee, lift up your right. Arm, right hand in front of your face. Bring your ring finger and your middle uh, in little finger down. Bring your thumb to your right nostril and your index middle finger just resting on the other side. Take a deep breath in through the left nostril. Seal that nostril with your middle finger. Then release the thumb and exhale through the right nostril. 
inhale through the right. Seal it with the thumb, release the finger and exhale through the left. Inhale left. Seal with the finger, release the thumb and exhale through the right. Inhale. Seal, release and exhale. Inhale, seal, release. One more round. Inhale, seal, release, exhale. Inhale, seal, release. and then relax your hands down onto your thighs. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale through the mouth, try and create the Ujjayi breath sound. Inhale. One more time. Exhale. Nice. So that kind of yogic breathing can really help to kind of calm yourself, calm your whole nervous system. Maybe make, it makes me a bit lightheaded, I've got to admit. Um, release the block from underneath your bottom. Come to your mat. Have your strap nearby and just bring yourself down. Hug your knees into your chest. Take a little rock from side to side. Massage your lower back. And then coming to a still pose. Take hold of your strap and pop it round both your feet with your knees still tucked into your chest. And then hold on to the strap with both hands. Slowly start to bring your legs up, extending them as straight as you can get them. My shoulders have lifted, yours might have. So pull the shoulders down, maybe feet coming further over your head. As you inhale, bend the knees, pull your knees into the chest, squeeze that strap in. Exhale, release, straightening the legs. Inhale to the chest. Exhale, extend the legs. One more time. Inhale, knees into the chest. Exhale, releasing legs up. Release the left foot from the strap. And just have your right foot in the strap. <clears throat> Both straps in the right hand, left hand to the left hip. Now you're going to lower your leg, but you're not going very far. You do not want that opposite hip to lift at all. So just going as far as you can. The minute you feel the hip lifting, push it down and pause. Pull the strap towards you, push the heel away. Keep pushing the heel away, pulling the toes in, shoulders firmly on the mat, hips firmly on the mat. Now straighten that left leg. Start to bring the right leg over. Keep it in the right hand. Don't swap hands. And we're not coming very far at all. Only lowering until you feel that deep stretch down the outer right thigh. And you'll feel it. And it's like, it's almost painful, but it's not painful. Push the heel away, pull the sole of the foot towards you. And just pause here, stretching out the outer thigh muscles. Maybe it's reaching into your hips, but both shoulders are on the mat. For another five, another four, another three, two, one. Bring that leg up. Bend the knee, release the foot from the strap. Bring the foot to the mat. Left foot into the strap. Uh, straps in the left hand, opposite hand, right hip. Pull the ball of the foot down, push the heel away. And then slowly, slowly start to lower it to the left. But stop the minute your hip starts to lift. Push the heel away. Extend that leg super straight. Squeeze the kneecap, the fronts of the thighs. 
breathing here. Extend right leg long. Keep the straps in the left hand as left leg comes up. And it's not going to cover far. You will feel it really quickly in your outer thigh. Just coming as low as feels comfortable for you. Push the heel away. Keep both legs straight. Flex that right foot. Squeeze both kneecaps in. And coming back to center. Release the foot. Hug your knees into the chest. Give it a squeeze. A rock from side to side. And then keeping your knees tightly in. T-shape your arms and just start to roll your knees. Your thighs should still be on your belly. And then bringing the knees down really high up. If it hurts your lower back, bring the knees down. But otherwise, try and keep the knees up. Both shoulders are on the mat. Turn head in opposite direction. Relax the hips. Relax your shoulders. Slightly different twist. This should be reaching into your mid-back. <clears throat> Not just your lower back. Keeping the knees high up. Start to lift them up towards your belly. Bringing them in. Squeeze them in towards your belly. Slowly lower them to the left. Keeping them really high up. We're targeting different muscles here. Both shoulders are on the mat. Head turned to the left. Breathing here. Relax those shoulders. Engage your bandha. Keep the knees tightly up towards your chest as you come back to center. Reach arms down. Take outer edges of the feet and draw the knees to your armpits. Heels pushing up to the ceiling as you roll from side to side. And then coming to a still pose, shift your hands so they go on the instep of your feet, wrapping your fingers around the sole of your feet. Pull knees to armpits. Now start to extend one leg straight out to the side. It won't go fully straight, but as straight as you can get it. Bringing the knee back to armpit. Other leg extending, push the heel away. Bringing it back to center. Both legs. They won't go fully straight but as straight as you can get them. Shoulders are probably lifted, so pull the shoulders down. Breathing here. Keep pulling on the feet. You'll feel this deep in your glutes, inner thighs, maybe your hamstrings. Keep pulling the feet out to the side. Keep pushing the heels away. Keep pulling the shoulders down. Breathing here. And then bringing the feet back to center. Release the feet. Wrap your arms behind your knees. Hug the thighs to the chest. And take a little rock and roll from side to side. Then bring your right foot to the mat. Cross the left thigh over the right thigh. Squeeze the thighs tightly together. T-shaped arms, palms facing up. Squeeze those thighs even tighter. And let the left leg pull the right leg to the left hand side. Keep squeezing those thighs. You'll reach a point where you can't go any further. Try and just relax in the hips and see if you can get a little bit more stretch down the right hip. So let the weight of the left leg pull that right leg down. You'll feel it on the top of the thigh, across the hip, and maybe into the butt cheek. Releasing here. Engage your bandha to bring yourself up. Keep the legs crossed. Squeeze the thighs and let them drop over to the right. Seeing how far they can go. You'll know when to stop. Both shoulders firmly on the mat. Relax the tops of the shoulders. Fire up your bandha, bring the legs back, give the thighs a last squeeze together, uncross the legs. 
right thigh over left. Really squeeze both leg muscles, both thigh muscles as the right leg falls left over to the right hand side. Enjoy that stretch across the hip. Feels good. Relax the tops of your shoulders. We always tense our shoulders. I'm the worst culprit, actually. Engage Bandha, bring the legs up, re squeeze those thighs together and let them come to the left. You can turn head to the right if that feels nice. Relax the shoulders. Engage Bandha, bringing your legs up and uncross the legs. Just give your thighs a little bit of a waggle. They'll be feeling that because that's quite strong. And then coming to feet underneath your knees, bring your arms to your sides, palms facing upwards. Nice. Extend one leg up to the ceiling, flex the foot. Extend the other leg up, flex the foot. Relax your shoulders and try and keep them relaxed. We're doing some leg raises. So we'll start with the right leg. Flex both feet really firmly and start lowering the right leg for 10, for 9, for 8. Fire up your core for 7, for 6. Relax your shoulders for 5, 4. We're coming to a hover. 3, 2, 1. Push both heels away for 10, for 9. We're going to hover for 8, for 7, for 6. Use your core for 5, for 4, for 3, for 2. For one, lifting up, flex, feet flex for one, two, three, four, relax your shoulders, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, reset the feet, squeeze the kneecaps, lowering left leg for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, hover for one, two, flex the feet for three, for four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Reflex and lift for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lift your bottom, pop your hands underneath your bottom. Both legs, feet flexed, lowering for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one and hover for one, two, flex the feet for three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, lifting for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, release the hands, wrap them round your shins, squeeze the knees in, take a little rock from side to side. Massage your lower back. It's always a hard one on the lower back, but it's so good for core strengthening. And then bring the feet back down to the mat. Make sure you've got room overhead and that your fingertips can touch the backs of your heels. If they don't touch, just do a little caterpillar wriggle of your body down towards the heels. It's sometimes easier than trying to bring the feet in. Arms by your side. Draw Udiana Banda in and flatten your lower back on the mat. Your butt, butt cheeks will start to lift. Slowly, slowly rolling up your spine, one vertebra at a time. Start to roll up onto your shoulders. Pause here. Lift your butt cheeks a little bit higher. Knees might be pushing forwards a little bit. Bringing the arms up and bringing them overhead behind you as low to the mat as they will go. Keep the arms there. Slow roll down. Keep pulling belly button up and in as you lay your spine down. Once your bottom hits, bring the arms up and bring them down by your side. Inhale, flat back, rolling up to the shoulders. Push into the feet, lift the hips. Bring the arms up and over. And exhale, slowly lower your spine. Pull your belly up and in as your bottom lowers and arms coming back down. Inhale, flat back, roll up. Arms coming up and over. 
and exhale, rolling down, arms back down to the side. Inhale, flat back, roll up, arms come over. Exhale, roll down, arms coming back down. Last time. Inhale, flat back, roll up, bringing the arms overhead. Pause here for a moment. Push harder into your bottom. Lift those hips up more. Squeeze those butt cheeks. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. And then slowly, slowly releasing the spine down. Arms coming up and over. Really nice. Just turn your arms so the palms are facing upwards. Slowly start to sweep them out to the side. Sweeping them overhead behind you. Bringing them back up, fingers to the ceiling and down to the side. Sliding them out to a T-shape. Keeping overhead and then bringing them up to the ceiling and down to the side. One more big sweep of the arms out and overhead and up and then down to the side. Nice. Knees into the chest, hands behind the thighs. Rock and rolling up and down your spine coming to your comfy cross-legged seat pose. Push down into your sits bones. So lengthen a little bit more, reaching up. Now squeeze the shoulders up, like someone's pulling everything up towards the ceiling. Keep the length in the spine, lower the shoulders. Keep the length in the spine, turn your head looking over one shoulder. Reset belly, pulling up and in as you come to center. And over the other shoulder. Back to center, release the arms out to the side. Nice. Pull belly up and in, twisting from the waist, rotating one way. Release to center, twisting the other way. And release to center. Turn your hands so they're facing behind you. Interlace them behind your back. Squeeze shoulder blades. Looking up, pull belly button up and in as you hinge forward. Arms coming up and over behind you. Pausing here. Keep lifting your arms. Keep squeezing the shoulder blades. And then on the next inhale, lifting yourself up. Release the hands out to the side. Pull belly up and in as we twist one way. Releasing to center. Twisting the other way. Releasing to center. Bringing your arms in front of you. Interlace fingers. Push the palms away. Lower the shoulders. Push the palms. Keep the shoulders down as hands start to reach up. Lifting up. Lift, lift, lift. Holding one way. And lifting up to center and folding the other way. Nice. Inhaling up, release the hands, reset belly, twisting one way. Back to center and the other way. Back to center, bringing your hands down onto your knees, rolling over your knees, bringing your feet out behind you. Tabletop pose for a few rounds of cat cow. Lower the belly, lift the tailbone. Push hard into the hands, push into the knees, lift the tailbone. And then lifting up, chin to chest, in your cat. Releasing to cow. And inhaling, exhaling up to your cat. Inhale, cow. And exhale, cat. Coming to a neutral spine, tuck your toes, push yourself backwards to a crouching dog, knees and thighs resting on the belly, and then walk your hands back towards yourself to a forward fold at the back of your mat. Nod your head, yes, shake your head, no. Pushing into your feet slowly, slowly, rolling up one vertebra at a time. Chin stays tucked to chest until you're straight. Arms reaching out, reaching up, looking up, and hands come to heart center. Nice, beautiful. So set yourself up with your feet hip width apart. To check your feet are hip width apart, I quite like this technique that somebody did the other day. 
So you've got your feet in inner, inner soles together. And all you're going to do is you're going to move your feet out into like a ballet pose like that. And then move your heels in behind. That's kind of going to be your hip width. So keeping the feet there. Engage bunda. Lift kneecaps and fronts of thighs. Shoulders up. Length in the spine and then draw the shoulders down, lengthen the neck. Chin is gently tucked in, belly pulling up and in as arms reach out. Keep lifting and lengthening in the spine as you keep the hips forward as you start to twist, looking over one shoulder and releasing to center. Keep those hips facing forward as you rotate to the other side. Keep hips facing forward. Bringing your arms behind you, interlace fingers, squeeze the shoulders, draw belly up and in, soften in the knees as you start to fold forwards, arms coming up and over, nose to knees. If you can, straighten your legs a tiny bit here, nod your head yes, shake your head no. And then pushing into your feet, start to lift up, keep your chin tucked to your chest until you're upright, release the arms out to the side, reset your Belly, hips stay forward, twisting one way. Release to center, twisting the other way. Release to center, bring the arms forward, interlace fingers, push the palms away. Shoulders are down as arms lift. Belly pulling up as you fold one way. Back to center, folding the other way. Back to center, release the arms to shoulder height, engage your core, twisting one way. Back to center and the other way. Back to center, release the arms, roll the shoulders forward, up, back and down. Forward and up on the inhale, exhale, back and down. Forwards and up, back and down beautiful keep your feet hip width apart left arm is firmly by the side right arm starts to come up reaching up now the arm is up the shoulder should be down core strong as we fold one way inhale up sweep the arm around in a big circle left arm comes up core is on as we fold Inhaling up, keep that core on the whole time. Right arm lifts, pull the belly button up and in. Folding a little deeper, perhaps. Inhaling up, left arm lift, belly pulls up at the same time and folds. Inhaling up for our last round. Reach up, but the shoulder is down as we fold. And release. Last time on this side, reaching up, belly on as we fold. And release. Really nice. Give your shoulders just a few shrugs, a little bit of a waggle with the shoulders. And we're going to do three rounds of sun salutations, but slowly. We're going to move super, super slowly. Nothing hot and sweaty today, but slow is strong, right? So at the top of your mat, big toes together, heels apart, arms by your side, shoulders are down, our little pelvic tilt is on, protect your lower back, really slowly pull the kneecaps up as the arms start to reach out, pull the belly up and in as the arms start to reach up, keep belly fired up as hands kiss, flip, keep belly fired on, soft knees as you slowly, slowly, slowly bring your hands over the side of your feet. Inhale, halfway lift, straight legs, straight arms. Exhale, fold. Step the right foot back, right hand under right shoulder, left arm lifting up into a twist. Reach the arm up, push the right heel away. Staying here for another five, four, three, two, one. Left hand outside, left foot, stepping back to your plank. Knees. Hinging at the elbows, lowering chest and chin. Baby cobra, point your toes away from you. Pushing hands into the mat, push to your knees, tuck your toes, and we'll meet in downward facing dog. 
So look at your hands. Are they shoulder width? Push into your hands, chest to thighs as heels lower just a little bit. Breathing here. Nod your head, shake your head. Weight is on the right foot, left leg lifts up high, three-legged dog. Pull the left hip back and the right hip forward a tiny bit. Square the hips off. Lift the leg a little higher. Push your chest to the left thigh. Looking forwards, step, sweep, or move the right foot between your hands as the left arm lifts up into a twist. Push that left heel away from you. Reach that right arm higher. The five, the four, the three, the two, the one. Right hand outside, right foot. Step forward, toes together, heels apart in a deep fold. Give your head a nod, give your head a cheek, release that neck. Engage your core as your arms slowly sweep out. Engage that core again as the hands lift, belly button lifts, and hands come to heart center. Reset your kneecaps, your little pelvic tilt, keeping everything firm as the arms slowly reach out. Slowly reach up. Exhale, slow, slow, swan dive, bringing hands outside the feet. Halfway lift on the inhale. Exhale, fold. Step the left foot back, the right foot back to your plank. Pausing here in plank. Lower the knees, chest and chin. Inhale to your cobra. Push via the knees, tuck toes, we're in downward facing dog. Left leg lifts up behind you. Pull the right hip back, the left hip forwards. Push into your hands, chest closer to the thighs. Looking forward, sweep, step, or move the left foot forward. The right foot comes to join it in a deep fold. Inhale, arms slowly reaching out, reaching up. Pull belly button up and in as the hands kiss and come to heart center. Inhale the arms out and up, maybe a back bend. Exhale slowly, 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 swan dive to your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Step the right foot back, lower the right heel. Inhale, arms up, warrior one, sinking deep into your lunge. So try and get your knee over the ankle, straighten that back leg by squeezing the kneecap, shoulders forwards but down, arms lifting up, looking up. The five, the four, the three, nice. Can you straighten your arms a bit more for two? Beautiful. For one, and hands either side of the foot. Step back, take your plank. Knees, chest, chin. Inhale, cobra. Pushing to your knees, tuck toes, and we're in our downward facing dog. Left foot stays down, right leg lifts up high, three legged dog. Pull right hip down, pull left hip back. Push into the hands. Looking forward, sweep, step, or move that foot between your hands. Left heel comes down. As you lift up to your warrior one on the other side. And again, try and bring the knee over the foot. Straighten that back leg. Squeeze that left kneecap. Lift the arms, but shoulders are pulling down. For another five, another four, another three, two, one. And bring your hands either side of the right foot. Stepping forward, toes together, heels apart. Deep fold. Lift your kneecaps, lift your belly button up and in as you reverse your swan dive. Hands lifting up and to heart center. Inhale, sweeping the arms out and up. A little back bend. Exhale, swan dive to your mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, swan dive. Step the left foot back, lower the left heel, coming up into a warrior two pose. I'm going to flip around so you can see me properly. Knee over the foot, 
back leg, left leg, squeeze the kneecap. Hips and shoulders are facing to the side as arms reach out. Can you sink a little deeper? Try not to lean forwards, try and keep shoulders over hips. Reach the arms, spread the fingers, gaze towards the front middle finger. Breathing here. Another five, four, three, two, one. Flip front palm, reverse your warrior. Reaching up, reach, reach, reach. And coming back to your warrior two. Hands either side of the feet, step right foot back. Knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga. Cobra, or up dog if you're chaturanga -ing. Meeting in downward facing dog. Pedal the legs out one at a time. Right leg lifts up high. Looking forward, step the foot forward between your hands. Step the left foot forwards to your fold. Inhale, reverse your swan dive. And exhale. Hands to heart center. Inhale slowly to your back bend. Exhale slowly, swan dive. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Step the left foot back, drop the left heel. Coming up, warrior two on this side. Sinking deep, reaching the arms. And exhale, hands either side of the foot, stepping back to your plank. Knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga, cobra, or up dog. Meeting in a downward facing dog. Left leg lifts up high, three legged dog. Or right hip back, left hip forwards. Looking forwards, walk, step, or smooth that foot between your hands. Coming up, warrior two on the other side. Think about your tight rope. In the pose, shoulders over hips facing to the side, bending left knee, deep bend of the knee, straighten that back leg, squeeze the kneecap, arms are reaching out, sinking deeper, gaze towards that front middle finger, relax the tops of the shoulders, breathing here, another five, another four, another three, two, one, flip front palm, Reverse that warrior. Reach that arm up. Breathing here. Don't bend that. Don't straighten that front knee. Keep it in that lovely 90 degree bend. And then coming back to your warrior two arms. Hands either side of the feet. Step back to your plank. Knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga. Cobra or up dog. And then bring your knees wide. Big toes tucked. Sink your hips to your heels, lower the forehead. Next in the woman in child pose. Lifting your head, looking forward, lift the elbows, extend the arms, spread the fingers wide, tuck toes, and we're back in our downward facing dog. Soften in the knees, walk your feet up behind your hands, coming to a forward fold. Bring your feet hip hips apart, bend the knees so you can get your hands flat on the floor. Now keep those hands flat and see how far you can straighten your legs. Your nose is heading towards your knees. Can you straighten your legs fully? Can you extend them fully? Can you lift the kneecaps? Breathing here. Then release your hands, bring your hands to your hips. Soften in the knees. Push into your feet as you slowly start to lift up. Chin tuck to chest. Slowly, slowly lifting all the way up. Once your spine is straight, lift your head, release the arms out. Slowly, slowly start to lift them up. Bring the palms together and draw the hands down to heart center. Nice. So we're going to do a few standing balances. 
we're going to start off with our tree pose. So I always find it easier to come off the mat. The hard floor is probably the easiest surface to stand on. So starting on the right leg, lift the toes, spread them wide, ground them down. Lift that standing leg kneecap, fire up the front of the thigh. Bring the left foot to position one, position two, or position three. If you're coming to position three, maybe have, yeah, have the wall or something nearby to tap. Push foot against the thigh, thigh against the foot. Hands coming heart center. Pausing here. Let the core draw belly arm start. You can join your thumb and index finger in Jamudra. Pull those shoulders down. Here for 30 seconds. So find your balance. Look at something that's not moving. Keep pulling your belly up and in. Keep pulling your shoulders down. Long core. Got another 15 seconds. Breathing here. If you want to close your eyes, close your eyes. Another three, another two, another one. And keep the legs where they are as you bring your hands to heart center. Pivot the knee forwards, wrap your hands around the knee, draw it up into the chest. Nice, keep left hand holding left knee, right hand to opposite hip, draw that hip open. Pausing here. You can bring the right hand out as a counterbalance, that sometimes helps with balance. Keep pulling that knee back, trying to get it perpendicular to your body. Keep the standing leg straight. We're going to stay here for 30 seconds. Nice. Keep reaching that arm up, shoulders down. Pull belly up and in. Another 15 seconds. I'm getting wobbly too. <laughs> Another five, four, three, two. One, bring the knee forward, hug it in, lift it up as high as you can, and then release. <laughs> Give the legs a shake. Give your butt cheek a little, a little waggle, a little bash. Your thighs as well if they're feeling it. Coming to the other side. Let's ground that left foot down. Lift the toes, spread them wide, rounding down. Heel to ankle, foot to calf, or foot on the inner thigh. Choose your level. Nice. Hands come to heart center, thumbs resting between your breastbones. Pull the shoulders down, pull the belly up and in as you grow those branches. Shoulders come down, keep pulling belly up and in. Focus on something that's not moving, We're staying here for 30 seconds. Gosh, I'm much wobblier on this side. Do reach those arms up as straight as you can, get them. Pull the shoulders down, belly up and in. Got another 15 seconds to go. Oops. Nice and smile. Another five seconds to go. Nice, release the arms, bringing the knee forward, hug the knee up and in. Holding onto the knee with the right hand, left hand, left hip, as knee comes out. Left arm can extend long. Try pulling that knee back a little bit more, perhaps. Oh, I'm going to fall over. <laughs> we're, going to st <laughs> we're going to stay here for 30 seconds. Always harder on one side than on the other. You're working on straightening that standing leg. Pulling belly up and in, another 10 seconds to go. I know it's hard. Another five, four, three, two, one. Bring the knee to center, squeeze it up and release and give both legs a really good shake. Oof. So our last bar of standing balance is gonna be dancer's pose. So we'll start off standing on the right foot. So start off, bring your feet and your knees together, lift the toes, spread them, ground them down. 
Make sure your right foot's really grounded as left foot lifts, taking hold of the top of the foot and then bring the knees back together. Push into the right leg, the standing leg, straight leg, right arm lifts. Keeping that standing leg as straight as you can, starting to hinge forwards, lifting the foot behind you, coming to your dancer's pose where we're going to stay for 30 seconds. Focus on something that's not moving. Beautiful. That's a really nice dancer's pose, Anne. Really nice. About another 10 seconds or so left. Keep trying to straighten that standing leg a bit more. Another five, four, three, two, one, and release. I think I don't do enough of that pose because I find it really hard too. So, ground the stat left leg. Feet together, get that standing leg really stable. Lift the left kneecap, squeeze the front of the thigh. Right foot bends, taking hold of the foot. Knees come back together. Fire up your core as you lift left arm. Hinging slowly from the hips. Only coming as low as you feel comfortable for 30 seconds. Working on lifting that leg a little bit higher maybe. Reaching that arm a little bit further. Another 15 seconds to go. Another five, four, three, two, one, and release. Give the legs a good shake, give your arms a shake. And then come to standing with your feet roughly the length of one of your legs apart. So, really nice wide straddle pose. Bring your hands to your hips. Lengthen the spine, but shoulders are down. Lift the kneecaps, reach your arms out. Keeping the hips facing forwards. Don't turn, move the hips, you're just twisting from the waist. Turning to look behind you one way. Release to center. Turning the other way, keep the hips facing forwards. Release to center. Turn the palms backwards, interlace fingers, squeeze shoulders. Squeeze those kneecaps and the fronts of the thighs as you start to hinge forwards, coming forwards, arms coming up overhead behind you, as high as is comfortable for you. Give your head a nod, give your head a shake. Breathing here. Can you lift your arms a little higher? Can you bring your head a little lower? Releasing the head down here. Now push into your feet, engage your glutes to bring yourself back up. Releasing the hands, bringing them out in front of you. Interlace fingers, push the palms away. Inhale, arms up, biceps to ears, shoulders are down. Core is strong as you fold one way. Coming back to centre and the other way. Back to centre, releasing the arms. Bring the heels in, turn the toes out. Cactus arms, elbows at shoulder height as you sit back in that invisible chair. Goddess pose, sinking deeper. Fire up the core, keep the hips forwards as you twist one way. Release to center, twisting the other way. Release to center. Beautiful. Sink the hips deeper. Hands on your knees. Thumbs in front. Fingers behind. Push against one thigh. Turn to look over the opposite shoulder. Coming back to center. Push against opposite leg. Drop those hips down. Coming back to center. Set your feet to roughly your squat pose as hands come to heart center and you lower down to your squat pose, letting the hips come down, sinking down, pushing the knees wide, hands coming, thumbs coming to heart center again. I'm going to stay here for 10 seconds. So keep working those hips down, lengthen the spine, lengthen the neck, pull the shoulders down for another five, four, three, 
one and using your hands as brakes bringing yourself down and bringing the legs along in front of you give them a nice little waggle and releasing here beautiful bring the right foot sole into the left uh, inner thigh flex that left foot turning towards that left foot shoulders and hips facing that way arms reaching out and up and exhale grab hold of the foot now before you lower your head and come back up right a minute Pull the foot in, pull the shoulders down. Now pull yourself towards your foot, keeping your chest lifted. And once you've kind of pulled your shoulders as far forward as they will go, then lower down. Deep, slow breaths here, releasing yourself down with each exhale. Nice. Releasing the foot, walking your hands back, bring yourself upright. Right hand behind you. Left arm reaching out as you come to a supported wild thing. Lift the hips. Staying here for five, for four, for three, for two, for one. And release yourself down. Coming to the other side. Right leg extended, left foot to inner thigh. Turn your hips and shoulders to face that foot. Lengthen in the spine. Maybe move the flesh from the sits bones to really get yourself nice and long as arms reach out. Reach up. So lengthen the spine, pull belly up and in, flex that right foot. As you slowly come down, take hold of the foot. Pause. Now pull that foot towards you. Lengthen in the spine, lengthen in the neck. Really pull your chest towards the foot and then start to lower, draping belly and chest over the right thigh, nose to knee. We're going to just relax here for 10 seconds. Keep pulling on the foot. Deep, slow, even breaths. And then releasing the foot, walking yourself back upright. Bend the right foot in, bring the soles of the feet together. Interlace fingers underneath the feet and just give those thighs a little bit of a nice stretch. And then pausing here, taking your middle finger, index finger and thumbs, grab hold of those big toes. Start to extend one leg out to the side. Push the heel away. There you go. Nice. I think you've got extraordinarily long legs compared to your arms. <laughs> there you go. Nice. Nice. And bring it back down. Other side. Extend. Try and keep the spine long. There you go. And release. Now you know what's coming next, right? <laughs> Both legs, trying to get them as straight as possible. I know this is a hard one. Maybe what you need are two straps around it, like one on each toe. <laughs> uh, uh, next class, and especially on Wednesdays, if you, can, <laughs> if you can bring two straps, I don't have two straps handy at the moment, but if you can imagine, right, that you're putting the straps, round, one round each big toe, I think that would be accessible for you like that because then you're going to, oh, you've got something you can use as a second strap. Oh, genius. And allow yourself a bit of room on the strap so you're not holding it right by the toe because I think that will make all the difference. But you've got to fire that core up to stop yourself from falling backwards. So try it with one leg. Oh, no, going straight to two. There you go. <laughs> so this is your homework, right? <laughs> For homework, when you're watching TV, you're going to see it like this. <laughs> but that's good. That works. That works. So bring, always have two straps handy for when we're coming to a adult. Fantastic. Put the strap to one side or straps to one side. Coming 
halfway down your mat, hold on to in front of your knees and slowly start to roll yourself down and then bring the knees into the chest, give them a squeeze, a little rock and roll from side to side, hugging them in. And then bring the right foot to the mat, hook the left ankle over that foot, over that right knee. Left hand goes between your legs, either behind the thigh or clasping in front of the right shin. Flex the feet, draw the legs into the chest. Relax your shoulders, breathing in. And then releasing the hands, release the feet down. Left foot to the mat, right ankle over left knee. Inhale them up, flex both feet. Hands either behind the thigh or in front of the left chin. Draw the legs in towards you till you feel that lovely, deep right inner thigh stretch and hip stretch. Releasing the bind, release the legs down. Bring both knees to the mat, T-shape your arms and just let your legs, your knees just roll from one side to the other side, releasing your lower back. And then coming to your neutral pose, extend right leg to the right corner, left leg to the left. Bring your arms down by your sides, palms facing upwards. Tuck chin to chest, close your eyes. Relax, Shavasana. Focus on the breath. Inhaling for four. And exhaling for four. Relax the shoulders. Inhale. And exhale, relax, counting at your own pace, relax. And then gently turn your head, bring your chin to one shoulder. Back to center, chin to the other shoulder. Back to center, start moving your fingers, toes, wrists and ankles. 
slide your legs together inhale arms up long overhead take a full body stretch point your feet reach the arms and then bring one knee at a time in hug them in take a little roll and rock and roll from side to side rolling onto one side pushing up to your comfortable seated pose hands at heart center to the third eye and namaste my lovely thank you